So I'm going to try and make this video um, like quick. Uh, Galaxy S24 Ultra, the anti-reflecting screen protector for the Galaxy S24 Ultra directly from Samsung. I ordered both of them together on samsung.ca. So it's like legit official stuff. Screen protector doesn't fit. It's also very reflective. So I don't know what kind of anti-reflecting they're talking about, but it doesn't exist. But the issue that we're here today for is actually a very serious issue. Um, if I kind of come up here, focus lock, and then come down, you'll be able to see this green and pink that kind of flashes on the side of the screen protector anytime I'm moving. And it does that on both sides of the phone. Uh, it's harder to see on this side. Eh? Yeah, there we go. So it does it on both sides of the phone. I contacted Samsung about this and he said, Hey, look, your screen protectors don't fit. Um, if you guys want to fix that and then send me like the appropriate size ones, that'd be cool. Or could, you know, maybe I get a refund for this. And I was, I was totally fine if they didn't want to give a refund or anything. Cause like I installed it. So I'm not exactly returning a product that was unopened. Cause if it was unopened and they didn't give me a refund, that's a dick move, but I did open it. I did use it. So if there were some kind of complications there, totally fine, whatever. I'll just eat the $25, no big deal. Uh, the issue is they told me that I did this wrong. They literally said, this is my fault. Like they said it was installed incorrectly. Now, if this was installed incorrectly, so let's get something to point with here. Let's lock that focus. Uh, so this little, little gap right here, seeing the reflection right by the, the battery, so that's the screen protector, that's the phone. And see the little white right in between? That's the LCD exceeding past the screen protector, all right? So let's follow that line all the way down. There we go, right at the bottom of the phone. It is perfectly straight all the way down. So the screen protector is not installed crooked sideways. Then we come to this side. And again, you can see right here, screen protector. The screen is exceeding past the screen protector. And again, follow it all the way down into that corner right there. So you can very clearly see that the screen protector is perfectly straight. It is slightly to the left. Okay, I'll admit that. But that should give this side a better benefit of fitting. And it still doesn't. So... If you look at the top, you can see right here by the time, the screen protector goes right onto the black of the bezel. Perfect. Then right here, it doesn't. The screen sticks out. Then right over here, oh, wait, what? Oh, yep, right there, black of the bezel, perfect. Screen sticks out. Then we come down here, and it's the same thing. Goes right onto the black part of the bezel, sticks out. And again, right God, I need like the reflection off of it so you can actually see what's going on here. And yeah, there we go. So you can see black of the bezel, screen is sticking out. So it's literally perfectly straight um, to be like, you know, parallel with the phone. But like they said this was my fault. And the biggest issue with this is that this is this is like a huge health issue because if there's someone who suffers from epilepsy, this can trigger seizures. Like it, it's hard to see, um, like it's hard to see on camera, but like, look at how much it's flashing and it's not picking up as much as it is in person. Like I can see this way more than I can see it on the camera, but it happens so rapidly that just moving the phone around like this much, it's flashing like crazy. So if you're typing, it's like two little like pink and green strobe lights on each side of your phone that you can never turn off. So that's an issue. Um, and what I need from you is to, well, not necessarily like share this video. Like this isn't some like publicity stunt. Like this is actually to try and fix an issue um, is to just try and make this issue more aware. So not even using this video, but if you have the screen protector, then take pictures of it not fitting, send it to Samsung, uh, have them look into this issue or at least attempt to, because when I did, they blamed me for it being the wrong size because that makes sense 
Um, and then also uh, contact the uh, like the health commission or whatever for the country that you're in, because this is going to be a global issue because they they're all the same part. Uh, and submit all of the same information, uh, and then try to contact some sort of like online news outlet or something like that to get as much coverage about this issue as possible, so that way it can be fixed as quick as possible. Which is why there's absolutely no quality being taken into making this video. Because uh, I'm just trying to do this as quick as possible because this is actually like a very, very serious issue. Like some people can die from seizures. Like in extreme cases, but it is possible. And there's no warnings about this at all. I told Samsung about all of these issues and how it could cause seizures. And they, they told me that it's my fault and they're just not giving me a refund. Like they literally didn't care about it at all. The person that I was speaking with was actually very helpful, uh, and they went to their supervisor to try and escalate this even higher, and their supervisor literally just said, no, we're, we don't give refunds on screen protectors, and just kind of ignored it as this being a bigger issue than the $25 that I spent on a screen protector, which at this point, I didn't even care about. I, I, like, the width needs to be fixed. This is an actual, like, health issue. I don't know. Um, you know, like, if... If you do share this video, then that's cool, but like it's really not going to help me out at all because this is just super quick, so it's really not going to like affect my channel. Um, but mostly take pictures of your phone. The more variety of the exact same issue, the better chance this has of being fixed. Uh, so hopefully we can get this resolved before you know someone dies from this.